Hi, welcome to this video and today we'll be creating this gorgeous butterfly card. So to start with, I used my HP laser printer to print these uh, images uh, on my Bristol card paper and I'm just using a scissor to cut off the portion I need for this card. So I'm using a holographic uh, foiling sheet and my mink machine. I will use this and it is so bright and uh, difficult to film actually using this uh, kind of a foil but I'll try my best not to blind you but um, this is a very pretty uh, sheet in reality so I'll just put it in my carrier sheet and uh, uh, I will send it through my mink machine so this is done and uh, this looks very very beautiful so we are ready to color it and I'll be using my Zig colors, Zig clean color markers and a shade of yellow and orange. I will blend it together using some water and this is very very quick and beautiful. So you can ask your kids to do these kind of projects, you can give them a ton of images laminated, uh, I, mean, I mean foiled and they will just love to color it. So the foil resists the color and uh, you can just wipe it off later and your image is absolutely crystal clear. So I'm quickly coloring it uh, using these two shades and once this is done I'll also introduce a little brown reddish color to add a little more depth in the butterfly. So uh, Bristol paper and zig markers go very well with each other and uh, by using a little water you can really get a very well blended look. So I'm using a little darker shade of orange and filling in the lines. This is going to create more interest in the butterfly. And uh, what I've planned is like I'll just chop it off. I will do some fussy cutting around the butterfly and I really want to save those antennas and uh, let's hope that I'll be able to cut it nicely. So uh, here you can see me that I'm just adding a little brown around the center of the butterfly and here is my trimmed beautiful butterfly. So now I have to think about the background and I wanted to use my distress oxides for this. So I'm using my mini round blending tool and a craft mat so that I, my surface is protected and it blends easily. So this is absolutely creamy and a delight to work on and they are such beautiful oxides. So uh, I'm just playing with these uh, two three shades of blue grey and placing my butterfly again and again to check whether it's looking pretty or not. So uh, I list all the shades I've used uh, in my blog and in the description box so that it's easier for you to understand and uh, once this sky kind of a background is done i will just sprinkle some water droplets on top of it to uh, take away some of the color and this bleached look looks just amazing it immediately act, adds a lot of texture in your background and makes it uh, look very nice so uh, you can see that the moment the water touches the panel and i put a paper towel see the bleach and this is so beautiful so this gives a lot of character and beauty to the background and uh, there are so many card makers whom I admire use this technique so often and I also love this uh, a lot so we are almost at the end of the card and uh, I have printed a sentiment which says beautiful birthday wishes and I've trimmed it into a thin strip. Uh, I'll just directly adhere it using some glue and uh, I will fold the ends um, towards the back of the cardstock. Initially I was thinking of uh, giving it a fishtail but then I thought uh, of doing this it, it this way. So uh, this is very easy and uh, next I'll be sticking my butterfly using some uh, foam tape and that will give it uh, a little dimension. See uh, I could manage cutting uh, the antennas very successfully and I'm so proud of myself. It is a very dainty thinny antenna and by using a good pair of scissors you can really do it. So there you go and I adhered my butterfly the holographic pretty butterfly on top and this card is ready. 
Thank you so much for watching and uh, please leave your comments if you like it. See you soon. Bye-bye. Take care.